Is everyone ready? Let's get ready for chemistry! Ah! All right, let's look at the rules for balancing reactions. We have a reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water. We know that hydrogen and oxygen are both diatomic, so they get little twos. We know that water is H2O, so we can't change that. So, rule number one, you need to balance reactions using coefficients. You cannot balance a reaction with a subscript. So if we want to balance this, we know we've got two hydrogens over here, and we know we've got two hydrogens over there. So that obeys the law of conservation of matter. That's great. We've got two oxygens here, and we've got one oxygen there. Where'd the oxygen go? Well, we could put a two there, right? Man walks into a bar and says, I'd like some H2O. The second man walks in and says, I'd like some H2O2. The second man dies! H2O2 is not water. H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. It's a poison. It's completely different. So you cannot balance reactions with subscripts. Once you've written the reaction, those subscripts stay what they are. So this can't change, this can't change, this cannot change. What you can do is you can put coefficients out front to make this work. There's two oxygens here, there's one oxygen there, so we need to put a two in front of this. Unfortunately, that two applies to everything. So we have two waters. That gives us two oxygens, but it gives us four hydrogens. So if we want to have four hydrogens on this side, how many H2s do we need to have to have four Hs? We need two of them. This reaction is now balanced. There's four hydrogens on this side. There's four hydrogens on this side. There's two oxygens on this side. There's two oxygens on that side. So rule number one, you have to balance an equation using coefficients. Rule number two, you're done when the reaction obeys the law of conservation of matter. So once you have the same number and kinds of atoms on both sides of the equation, the equation is balanced. Let's look at another one. H2 plus N2 makes ammonia. Hydrogen is diatomic, nitrogen is diatomic, ammonia is NH3. These things cannot be changed. Once you have written them correctly, that's what they are. So, we want to balance this reaction. There's two hydrogens on this side. There's three hydrogens on this side. There's two nitrogens on this side. There's one nitrogen on this side. So how do we balance this? We have to use coefficients. So we'll put a two there. That gives us two nitrogens. Unfortunately, that gives us six hydrogens. So if we want to have six hydrogens on this side, how many H2s do we need in order to have six hydrogens? We need three. This equation is now balanced. It obeys the law of conservation of mass. And we haven't changed any of the subscripts in order to balance the reaction.